My mother makes me a sandwich for lunch. I take it. She in turn slits her throat. <laughs> and, uh, and after the funeral, I go back to school for the first time, my father makes me a sandwich. And all day, while I'm in school, I'm thinking that he's going to be lying on the kitchen floor when I get home. See, because it's the same thing, because I took the sandwich. If I don't take, I think they'll be okay, but I take and that kills them. So when I got home and he wasn't lying on the kitchen floor, but instead in his study, alive, <laughs> I was disappointed. Let down. See, because my system failed me. Everything was failing me. And when I expected my father to fail me, he failed me by not failing me. He was just sitting there, alone, abandoned by the woman he planned to, I don't know, move to Florida with. And, and he can manage to go on living, to stay alive. How? The kind of person I am, I get obsessed with things and people really easily. Uh, and three of the things that I've been obsessed with uh, define who I am as a person. One, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's an astrophysicist and uh, the director of the Hayden Planetarium. He takes dense information about the universe and, and everything like that and he presents it in such an incredible way that I think that um, he champions science in such a great way. Uh, second, The Simpsons. Love The Simpsons. Know everything about The Simpsons. Argue, actually, there's no arguing about it. The best sitcom ever made. It's awesome. Third, Stephen Sondheim. The Shakespeare of our time. He's incredible. Uh, we'll be studying him hundreds of years from now. Best who's ever done it. Um, those three things define me as a person. So, um, and I got to meet all three. Got to meet Stephen Sondheim. I uh, got to meet Neil deGrasse and uh, the Al Jean, the th showrunner uh, of The Simpsons. So there you go. That's it.